What is up, you guys? Let me go here. Welcome back to the channel. You see the thumbnail, you see the title. We're gonna be talking about Tony Khan and also Rossby. Both of whom, in my opinion, did some dumb shit last week. We will talk about. Well, I talked about it. If you missed my video covering that that episode of Dynamite, check it out. That's one of my greatest videos I ever did. Personally, I killed that shit. Tony Khan you seen Punk for his boost. <laughs> the, the 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 boost did nothing. Cause it, inc it wasn't that much of an increase. They need to let this shit go. Yeah, this is just it just furthers uh, my point and other people's point of Tony Khan not being a boss, more of being a immature spoiled brat than anything. Or a spoiled rich kid. That's what he is. And two, Shad Khan gets tired of funding AEW. AEW is dead. Let me repeat that. If Tony Khan's father stops investing money into AEW, AEW will be deceased. And two then is going to keep going. You got your notes by now. AEW is not going to die unless that happens or they don't get that TV, that new TV renewal, which is huge for them. If they don't get that, that's a major red flag. Just saying. Will Osprey. Two Race basically said, yo, if you're not, if you're not up for the grind, you shouldn't be here. Or we don't want you here if you don't have that mentality of grinding it out. Working the three, they work 300 days out the year. 65 the 65 days is either getting time off or they don't really have time to themselves. Ross we chose to go to AEW, we know this. Well, Osprey had every right to come to AEW. It makes sense for him. It makes sense when you, you know, if you know his personal situation, it makes sense. I don't see why 